Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing week, and I'm honored to be connecting with you and having this time in our busy lives to really come together, connect in a very real heart-to-heart place as we really lean in to becoming empowered in our lives, living our lives on purpose and with purpose. And I love to bring you experts to support you and I on our journey as we are looking to live purposely. That means with purpose and in a way that is meaningful and impactful in our lives. Today, we're going to be talking about how to shine in your life, particularly in the areas of money and as we're aging to actually do this, embracing it in such a way that we're aging with attitude and power, really being in the center of our lives, living the life that matters most to us. So we're going to talk a lot today about how to step into the center stage of your life around your age, your metabolism, your body, your energy, and around money, having all of those things actually serve and support you. Let's breathe that in. You heard me correctly. We're going to serve and support you today and actually talk about how money and your energy and your body and metabolism, all of those things can come together and support you to shine powerfully in your life. But you want to get the most out of our time together. So the way to do that is to take deep breaths. We're going to give you lots of opportunities to do that, like that big belly breath. And as you do that, you breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, like you're breathing through a straw. That actually brings you present so that you can really hear and receive and lowers your cortisol level, your stress levels. So I encourage you to take lots of breaths in our time together. And we're actually going to have these things disguised as commercial breaks, which are actually two minutes just for you. Every time you have one of those opportunities, I encourage you to stay present. Don't run off trying to do things on the to-do list. Really stay present. Receive and process the information you're getting that's being shared with you or you're receiving. Sometimes when we slow down, breathe, and listen, there's great wisdom within ourselves we can tap into. And we have amazing experts to support you on your journey as well. So take those two minutes as we go throughout our show to breathe, pause, listen, receive, and you'll learn about things that we have going on, upcoming events and programs and shows and other organizations that we feel like would be a great connection for you. There are sponsors that during our commercial breaks are highlighted and are reaching out to you. They believe empowering women transforming lives is really important, so important. They're willing to lean in to bring their resources to you, to this show, to make it possible, their name and their brand. So I invite you to lean into them as well. Get to know these organizations, these individuals that believe empowering women, transforming lives is important because they're saying you're important. So breathe that in, just in case you forgot that today. You're absolutely needed, valuable, and important. And in the United States, we just celebrated the 4th of July, a time for us to step forward, to shine, to really lean into what it means to be in our country and who we are in that. And it's a great time for us to explore how are we doing that in our own lives? Are we really stepping into the center stage of our lives, into our freedom? Are we choosing to shine 
in how we're made or are we shrinking back a little bit? Not really fully stepping into our own power and freedom and the ability to share who we are with the world. That is something each and every one of us can do. We can take steps to sharing the gift of who we are with another. That's how we make a difference in the world is heart by heart, life by life. And we need to remember it matters how we show up in that. This isn't a dress rehearsal. We don't get to come back and try it again and again and again. We have today, we have this moment, we have this time. And so I want you to really take this time for you. Lean in to who you are, what you're called to be, those things that matter the most to you. And how can we harness the financial side, the money side to serve and support you and what you're called to bring forward? And then as every year goes by, how can you become more of who you are, more powerful and more vibrant in sharing the gift of you? Those are the things we're going to explore and lean into today. But in order to do that, I really want to create a space for us to hear and receive. Those of you who are driving, please stay safe, both hands on the on the wheel, eyes open, alert, just inwardly tuning in. But those of you who are able to, I invite you to actually put both feet on the floor, lean back in that chair, feeling it support you. Take one of those big belly breaths I talked about before. And as you breathe out, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, close your eyes, you're absolutely safe. Keep breathing, let's bring all of you in to this sacred space to connect, receive, and listen. And in this space, eyes closed, ready to receive, what is it you need today? What is it that will empower you, encourage you, invite you to step into the center stage of your life to shine particularly around money and around each year as it passes by that we're stepping more into our power. What is it that you need to serve and support, equip and empower you today? Just receive that information. It can come in a picture, a phrase, a memory, a sound, color. And as you're receiving that information about what it is that you need today, I invite you to receive it, to come back into the room, open up your eyes, and actually write down what it is that you need today that will encourage and empower you. I want it top of mind that you're on the lookout for it, anticipating it, expecting it, Maybe it'll even happen in our conversation today. So be actively on the lookout and ready to receive whatever it is that you need today that will equip and empower you. Take one more breath. Everyone back in the room, eyes open. And I'm going to go around the room here just a moment to connect with our guests today. Jan, did you have anything laid upon your heart that you wanted to share today? I was feeling the need to create clarity mm. so that I could communicate as clearly as possible in your time span. <laughs> <laughs> Radio moves quickly. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So clarity and that and it can apply in so many ways. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. How about you, Sally? Did you have something laid upon your heart? I get love and support. Mm. It would help me if our listeners lean in and open up so that I can really love and support them today. 
Mm, beautiful. I love that. Thank you. So listeners, you're an active, important part <laughs> of our conversation today as we're connecting heart to heart, leaning into you. It's so powerful to know that you're leaning into us as well, that you're lifting us up, that whatever it is that you need from us here today, we're here to support you, to serve you. That's why we're here. <laughs> so knowing what it is that you need from us today, having you energetically lift us up so that we can be open to sharing our wisdom and our expertise with all of you. It's not an accident that you're joining us today, that you're leaning in, that you were drawn to this conversation. So I invite you to lean in, be ready to receive, feel free to call in and connect. We would love to talk with you, to serve and support you during our amazing time together. Let's breathe that in. <sighs> Wonderful. And as we're going into our first commercial break, remember the tips I shared with you. These are two minutes for you to breathe, listen, connect, perhaps going even deeper into what it is that you need today. And when we come back, we'll look forward to tapping into our first amazing expert. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Voice America Women. Your passion starts here. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim T. Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained. Get educated and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour for, for Success. success. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you took advantage of that opportunity to have two minutes carved out just for you to receive, listen, breathe. And sometimes it's so powerful to just be still. We move so quickly in our life. We forget to do that pausing and listening. And when we do, great clarity can come to us, focus. It's much easier to know which way to go next and prioritize when we remember to pause. So I hope that you did that and you'll have other opportunities throughout our show. But as I promised, we're now shifting gears to start talking with one of our amazing experts. And this individual is really an expert on helping us age 
powerfully, actually becoming more powerful with each passing year than less, more focused, more vibrant, and really building a life that matters to us. So let me introduce you to her. Her name is Jan Rose Distel. She is a TV show host and producer of Age with Attitude TV. That even just gives you a feeling there. Age with Attitude TV. Love it. She is a money, mindset, and metabolism expert with the passion, and I say huge passion and commitment <laughs> to helping you live an even more powerful second half. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Jan Rose Distel to the show. Welcome. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, thank you so much. Thank you. Very welcome. I'm excited to have you here. I love your vibrancy and your commitment to really changing, I think, some of the paradigms that we have around aging and myths that are out there that are just not true. And you're it's such a... True, yeah, it's true they're not true. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. It's true they're not true. I like that. <laughs> and when we have the truth and we can actually purposely build what matters to us in our life, it changes the whole game. So I know you're going to love what Jen has to share. But before we get into your amazing wisdom and content and expertise, Jan, do you mind sharing why? Why the work that you do? around age with attitude in TV and so many different medias is so personally important to you. Mm, thank you. Yes, it is. Uh, as you know, it, it, I am on a mission to help mm -hmm. women worldwide find their passion and find what inspires them, their purpose, uh, so that they can make their second half their best half yet. And I think I feel that way so strongly because I eight years ago I hit rock bottom I was mm -hmm. 59 and in a six-year period I lost my sister my dad my husband and then in 2008 with the great recession I lost um, the real estate business we had put together and I was six figures in debt I was devastated I had lost my optimism and then someone you know, I had friends, family, people were just so sweet to me trying to help. Someone sent me a video of a 76-year-old woman who had lost her husband when she was 72, and now she was dancing athletic salsa, winning Spain, so you think you've got talent contest. And in that moment, she reminded me that I, too, have that spark. I had that spunk, I had that feistiness, and it reminded me to get back to what creates passion for me. And for me, it was dance, it was energy, it was a reminder that there was so much I couldn't control in my life, but I could control my own energy and my own attitude. And mm -hmm. I vowed if I could get myself out of the mess that I was in, that I would help other women look at their, excuse me, <coughs> whoa, look at their second half very differently. I love that, Jan. Thank you. Thank you so much. And and I want you to hear the passion for what she's sharing, that this is a mission. It's It wasn't just her journey. She really saw it out there that so many individuals are feeling less and smaller and discouraged and losing their spark. Whereas we can make a choice there. We can actually choose to lean into those things that give us our spark back. And on top of that, make a difference. Because I was just thinking the lady that you were sharing about that's winning these competitions, Dan, she's inspired all of these women around the world. Yeah. So her finding yeah. her spark has led to that and you finding your spark and all the amazing work that you're doing now is stepping into additional medias that are reaching a global audience. I love it. Yes, she she played it forward and I was paying it forward. I, that was my commitment was to embody this work and to um, inspire women to find their own inspiration and their purpose because when we do, we are amazing in this second half because of the wisdom that we bring as well. Yes. Thank you. And if any of you have had the privilege of meeting Jan, you will always remember her spark 
her energy <laughs> and her presence, her being in a room already <laughs> starts to create an impact because of her commitment to walking the talk into this mission that she's taking on to help all of you live a really powerful and purposeful life. Thank you for the work that you do, Jan. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And you touched on something a little bit when you were sharing some of your why you do the work that you do, but I wanted to see if you were willing to go into that a little bit more about when you realized you weren't allowing yourself to shine. And just as a, an outsider listening to your story, there were a lot of things that would make one not want to shine. All of the loss that you experienced, the debt, that could be overpowering and overwhelming. And yet, and you made a choice in all of that to not shine, and then you eventually made the choice to shine. Do you mind sharing a little bit about when you realized you weren't shining and expand on what helped you Decide to shine. Thanks. Yes, yes. Um, you know, I, I kind of looked at my options uh, mm -hmm. and, and said, I don't think there's any benefit for me in not shining uh, and, and, and becoming, you know, smaller and smaller. Uh, it was not something that excited me to live into. And I realized, uh, I had realized in my late 40s when I had been on that kind of very, very fast um, in the mode of, you know, carting around uh, three teenagers who didn't have their license yet uh, and supporting my husband in, in our business and, you know, just being the, the good uh, to-do list that I wasn't acknowledging me mm. and... I started to understand that for me, dance, movement, exercise, but really dance was a passion, a spark. It didn't, it didn't, it wasn't going to change a world. It wasn't necessarily what I could do for money. It was just what I understood was mine. And I called it sacred selfishness and that the need for that was critical because when I danced, when I took that time for myself, I was acknowledging to me how important I was. I was sending those endorphins my way and saying, I have worth that is beyond what I do for my family and for my community. It is just for me. So I made it ritual. And that video coming back uh, was a reminder that I had gotten away from that in my grieving and in my pain. Um, I had put that aside. And so what I had come to in my late 40s, I had an opportunity to come back to in my late 50s. And bring I it back love, and bring it, I yes. love this, that sacred selfishness, really making sure that you're being nourished, that you're taking time for you, that you're pouring into yourself. Those things yes. that create a spark so that you can go out into the world and shine. And I love that you discovered that and rediscovered it <laughs> on, yeah. on your journey and something for us all to look at, really. How are we bringing that sacred selfishness into our life, that taking care of ourselves first? And you, yes. And, and you know, listeners, my, kids, my, kids, my kids see that now, too. And that's, yep. I want them to see that for themselves because they're not kids, you know, they're in their 30s now and 40s. And to see that for themselves because that's important as well, that they understand no matter what other responsibilities you have, you've got the responsibility yes. to yourself. Yes, absolutely. And so something that we can pay forward to ourselves and to future generations, but they would not have learned that without you learning that. And so listeners... <laughs> yes taking this opportunity to think about what can you add into your life right now, today, to take care of you, to bring some of that spark back. Maybe it's pausing and remembering what it is mm. that's sacred to you, that's nourishing to you, and choosing mm. to build that in. And listeners, our time goes so quickly, so I want to make sure I give <laughs> Jan a moment here. So 30 seconds to a minute to share about your amazing gift. Oh, thank you. Uh, my gift is for you to have the option to be alerted each week about our latest television program, 
which they're 15 minutes. They're designed to spark, give you that inspiration. And then when you join our community, which is absolutely free, uh, what you get are bonus materials that give you the resources and the guidance to really support you in your journey. So I, I'm right there with you. Uh, and from these, whether it's about your mindset, which is always critical, or your money, which Sally's going to address, and she's going to be one of our guests in our fourth season. Uh, yay, Sally. And right. Rebecca has been a guest as well. We bring fabulous mm-hmm. people to you. And then, of course, um, what's so important is the metabolism. If you don't have energy to live your life, you can't really be present in it, and, and we You can't forget that. Your energy has to be extraordinary, and I help you do that. Thank you, Jan, again, for the gift that you are to the world and all of the resources and experts that you make available through your powerful weekly show. So I encourage all of you to lean in, watch Age with Attitude TV, lean into the beautiful and powerful gifts that Jan is making available to you. And when we come back towards the end of the show, I will let you know how to access all of those resources. But as we go into this commercial break, I want you to remember to carve these two minutes out for you and really use it as a time to be, have that sacred selfishness, lean into what it is that you need right now, today, real time that will start to bring that spark back or tune it up. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Age with Attitude TV is for the woman who does not see her future as a nice little old lady, but rather she sees herself living a bold, juicy, kick-ass second half. Now, if this is the life you want for your second 50, then Age with Attitude TV is for you. You'll find stories to inspire you, plus money and metabolism tips that really work. Check it all out at agewithattitude.tv. Presented by Jan Rose Distel. Find us on voiceamerica.tv. And remember, it's never too late to create a life you love. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour for Success. Tune in for Suzanne Ross and Lighten Up TV, evolutionary wellness for the body, mind, and spirit. Each episode features Suzanne and her amazing guests, including inspirational authors, speakers, wellness experts, and spiritual guides. This series is focused on achieving total well-being so that you can live well and love life. Visit LightenUpTV.net to find out more. Lighten Up TV is presented by The Awakening Center, a nonprofit for those seeking a higher way of living and being. Don't miss out on living your best life now. Go to LightenUpTV.net today. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. 
please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you took that opportunity to lean in, listen, receive, and think about, am I building that sacred selfishness in my life? Because if we don't take care of the gift of ourselves, we won't have anything to continue to give. We'll reach to a point where it's not a sustainable model. We're all poured out. So it's so important to build that time of pouring into ourselves to bring in those things that give us that spark as we go out into the world. So I invite you to keep leaning into that, explore that deep within and start building those practices into your life. That will help every year get better and more powerful and more meaningful as you shine in your life. Mm. Let's breathe that in. I claim that for all of us. (sighs) Wonderful. Well, our next guest expert, we're going to be shifting into the money part of our conversation because, again, we wanted you to have that powerful energy every year getting more powerful. But we also want to make sure you have the assets, you have the finances, you have the money to support you, that you're not outliving them, that they're here and what you need in an abundant way to serve and support you, what you're wanting to build and bring into your life. So our next expert's going to help us in that. Her name is Sally Domingo. She is a wealth empowerment expert, speaker, writer, coach, and founder of Women Wealth Mastery. She is passionate about women embracing their future in a financially powerful way. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Sally Domingo to the show. Welcome. Thanks, Rebecca. It's so nice to be here. Very exciting. Good. Well, we are excited to talk with you. And as you know, I'm passionate about those money conversations. So I'm very excited to have you here today. (laughs) Thank you. But before we get too deep into our conversation, do you mind sharing some of why? Why is empowering women around money and their finances, why is that personally so important to you? You know, my story is a little like Jan. I thought I'd done everything right in my life. I worked hard as an entrepreneur for many years, uh, made a lot of money, saved, invested, did it all right, um, volunteered for causes, (laughs) raised my kids, uh, thought I had it made. And then, uh, Six years ago, my husband found out that he had esophageal cancer, and despite the treatment, five months later, we lost him. Mm. And everything came crashing down. And the one thing that I really needed in my life that I couldn't give myself was permission to take a year off, partly because of all the medical bills and the financial stresses. I lost a big share of my wealth, and I felt that I had to go dive right back into work and build it all back up again. And what I learned over the last the last uh, six years is uh, that real wealth um, means freedom. Mm-hmm. That wealth isn't always money in the bank. But if you have money in the bank, then it gives you the freedom that, to do the things that you really want to do in your life. So the first thing I did is I downsized. I sold my house, uh, went to live at a small cottage. Uh, and I changed, I had just changed careers. I'd gone into the financial business. And I, I found that if I gave myself more flexibility, uh, that I gave myself permission to travel and to build my wealth a different way, uh, that that's what life really is all about. So I have um, become very, very passionate about helping other women do the same thing, to find the balance in their lives and to find other ways to build wealth besides just going to a job 40 hours a week. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing your story. And I'm so sorry for your loss and appreciate you sharing with us and that you are and have harnessed 
so much from that experience and what you've created in your life to take on this mission of helping so many women around the world. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Now, we talked a little bit about the center stage comment in our earlier conversation with Jan and in the opening conversations about putting ourselves in center stage of our life, having this sacred selfishness, putting ourselves first. There's lots of different ways we say it. And I would love to have you share why you see that this is critical and so important for women to do to really put themselves first. Uh, Because I see it time and time again, I see it with my own clients. I see it everywhere I go. Women uh, want to give of themselves. We are nurturers. We are givers. And when we work all day and then we come home and we serve our families and then we serve our communities, eventually we burn out. It takes a toll on our physical health and on our, our whole well-being and it affects our communities and our families. And eventually we can lose our work because of it. So it's absolutely imperative that we reset our priorities uh, and learn how to take care of ourselves first because we're the captain of the ship. And if we go down, everybody goes down. Mm, Yes. Yes. I'm just underlining explanation point that we have a responsibility to do this, to put ourselves not first, not just for ourselves, but we are the backbone of so much in our communities and our families and our society that if we don't do that, the whole ship can go down. Really important reminder. And so for those of you who felt like putting yourself first was a um, selfish act, it's actually a way to serve more to really make a difference we have to make sure we're going to be there that we can keep serving and supporting others so that carving time out for ourselves is actually sacred and critical in order to keep doing all that we are called to do but that selfishness piece we need to remember that as we're doing it needs to be things that support us that nourish us that's the time for us not for others at that moment but really for us. Beautiful, beautiful reminder, Sally. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Now, what about those that are, I get a little squiggly when we say the word money. <laughs> they get kind of uncomfortable, lack the confidence. Do you have any mm-hmm. sort of a tip or piece of advice to help those women out there that that's not their favorite subject? Oh, yes. <laughs> the word <laughs> money lands very hard, um, mainly because when we're growing up, little girls are not empowered around their money. We don't have a lot of self-confidence around our money. Our father doesn't hand us a $100 bill and say, here, go buy the groceries for the week. <laughs> I trust you. Uh, so a lot of women uh, really have a lack of self-confidence around money, and there's fear. There's fear of not knowing enough. There's uh, fear of trusting someone to manage your money, and really a, just a lack of knowledge of what to do that freezes us, but it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to. There are, there are ways in which you can learn more about money, and you can master it, you can feel good about it, and you can love your money, and when you do those things, your whole life will change, and your money will start to grow, and you'll start to feel good and confident about your whole life. So are you suggesting that we start to, um, using some of the phrase we used earlier about lean in, to start to um, move towards what we want it to be? I don't know if you have a tip or a way that we can start doing that, um, build towards what we want. You know, uh, I think the first thing to do is to learn to love your money. Uh, One of the things that I I tell my clients to do is to take a hundred dollar bill, get a hundred dollar bill and go out and buy yourself a new wallet, a new sexy, fancy feminine wallet. That's really you and put that hundred dollar bill in there and keep it in there. And everywhere you go, you will start feeling like it's yours. And once you can actually, uh, feel, feel a sense the, of empowerment around it, it, everything becomes more easy. Everything, including paying bills or deciding where you're putting your money or whether to save or to spend, it starts 
to become part of who you are. Beautiful. I love that. It's a really practical way to start building what you want and owning it and becoming empowered in the process. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that. And we are moving quickly through our time together, so I would love to have you share about the amazing gift that I know you've prepared for our listeners to serve and support them. I would love to share. Uh, My free gift is an audio recording, Three Big Steps to Wealth and Happiness. And what it is, is uh, some steps that you can take to become more confident and more purposeful and more successful with your money. Uh, that is the most important thing. Uh, just some steps on how to, to start uh, putting you in your calendar before your work, uh, how to start uh, saving money and feeling more confident about it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for making that available. And listeners, I already know you like audio (laughs) because you are here today. And so I encourage you to lean into Sally's amazing gift to really start supporting you today and now on your journey. We're getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And when you come back, I will share with you how to access Jan's amazing gift and those audios that Sally has put together just for you. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. The Voice America Women's Channel. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Kim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained. Get educated and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for, for Success. success. The Ugly Awkward Dance Show is designed to help you move through those ugly, awkward, and uncomfortable life experiences. You know what we're talking about. Did you know that each challenge brings a gift? Once you figure that out, even the toughest challenge almost becomes fun. Each program includes engaging guests who talk about what they've overcome, as well as a mindful movement exercise to help you move through your emotional blocks. Yes, there will be awkward dancing too. Visit the Ugly Awkward Dance Show. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you took the time to breathe in, pause, have that time just for you as you're processing all that we've shared with you today and that you'll be taking forth as you go back out into the world. 
And one of the things that we like to support you with are these gifts. And the reason that our guests are providing gifts to you is because they want you to be equipped. They want you to be empowered. We want that for you, that as we have this amazing time of connection together to serve and support you, that at the end of our conversation, you actually have tools, resources, insights that you can bring forward that become part of you on a cellular level. And so we have put together this amazing page of gifts, that's multiple gifts, to serve and support you. You actually get to go into this resource and select all of those gifts and resources that will serve and support you without limits. So I want you to listen close as I tell you how to access the gifts that Jan and Sally have made available to you today, as well as several gifts that I have for you too, to support you on your journey. You go to Radio Gifts, and that's plural because there's more than one gift. So radiogifts.net, a net full of gifts, radiogifts.net. You will put in your name and email address so we can stay in touch. And then you peruse the fabulous gifts. Make sure to scroll all the way down to today's date, July 5th, and you will see the amazing gifts that Jan talked about and that Sally also has made available to you. You click on those gifts, put in your name and email address so they can stay in touch with you too and send you these resources that will support you on your journey so that every year that goes by, you're creating an even more powerful second half and you are creating this powerful financial connection to build the resources, abundance, and money that will serve and support you. I invite you to really lean into the gifts that are being made available to you today. Not someday, not eventually, right now, today, I encourage you to lean in. Because what's been laid on my heart is we've had our conversation today and we've shared from our bodies, our metabolism, how we're looking at aging, how we can become powerful and step into that place in our life that is center stage, that we can shine and move forward. And we've talked about finances and having those supporting you and starting to make that connection. Really, I have had this sense of urgency placed on my heart. As tomorrow isn't guaranteed, we plan for it. Every day we're taking steps towards it, but we have today. I never hear anyone say, oh, I wish I had waited. I wish I had less time to do the things that I'm planning on and looking towards doing. I always hear, I wish I would have known. I wish I had taken action. So I want to invite you today to take action on something that we shared with you today. Maybe it's the gifts. Maybe it's an aha moment you had when we paused and listened. Whatever it may be, I invite you to take action today. Not someday. Don't add it to the to-do list. Really lean in and take action today. You are needed. You absolutely matter. And in that same vein, I asked both of my guests if they would share another tip, something that you can start to move forward now with. And they both generously said yes. So I'm going to hand the floor over to Jan as she shares a first tip or step towards sacred selfishness. Jan. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, some of you may know right now an activity, a love, a passion that you have and you've put it aside. You've said, not now, later. So I'm going to invite you now. Just start, start with a small step. But I'm going to talk to those of you who may not be aware of what it is that you might love or have passion for, and I invite you to go back to when you were nine or ten years old, because oftentimes it's at that age that we have a passion, and we've put it aside in our teenage years or whatever because it wasn't practical or whatever, and I invite you to just go back and think about what really lit you up and, and start to just do it, because it is just never, ever too late to become the person that you were supposed to be really is not and nothing is out of your reach 
It really isn't. Beautiful. Thank you. Really tapping into that thing that lit us up, that gave us joy, and to bring that into our life yeah. now. Oh, beautiful. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. Sally, and I know you had a mastering your money tip, and I would love for you to share that with us, too. Yes, thank you. Uh, the biggest tip I can give you for mastering your money is make it yours. Mm. Take a look at your cash flow. Find out where your money is going and make sure it's going to the places you want it to go. And let go of the things that you don't really want or care about. And make sure that your money starts going into things that drive your happiness. Whether it's a savings fund for travel or whether it's a massage once a month. You know, switch out the pizza for the massage. <laughs> beautiful man Jan likes that too <laughs> I do <laughs> so I love that to, to summarize really taking ownership of that that's definitely going into that leadership center stage place is really making the money yours including where it's going and have it go to those things that matter most that, that awareness of where your dollars go because it, it matters and make it yours claim it Oh, yeah. beautiful thank you Sally love it mm -hmm. the listeners you have been sh given amazing tips and heart shares with you today as you've heard Jan's story you've heard Sally's story about the walk that they have gone on the journey they have gone on and now their mission as a result of that to serve and support each of you powerfully I invite you to take this wisdom Put it in your lives. Start taking those steps to tapping into your sacred selfishness today. Really harnessing those dollars, putting them towards those things that matter most to you. Again, that urgency today matters. And how you start to interact with these things and with yourself in your life matters. I invite you to remember that you are highly valuable. You are beautifully and wonderfully made on purpose and worth a purpose. You are so needed in this world. There is not another like you. You are an amazing gift. So I invite you to make sure to take care of you, to really choose those things that matter most to you, that wherever you go, whatever you do, May you always, always bloom where you are planted and shine. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted. And